a question that has come up is, uh, once again, how to do a Monte Carlo simulation uh, and kind of the purpose of a Monte Carlo simulation. So let's, let's just run through it, give you a quick idea. Let's assume that we have gone through and uh, we have found that our data, there's an average monthly demand of 100 and that the standard deviation is 10. Um, and what we're trying to do is we, we've already gone through and we've done the uh, other analysis on it. But we want to go back through now and say, what should we do in the future, you know, from that prescriptive standpoint? And so this one, the simulation comes in because it says, yeah, this is the number, the average and the standard deviation. But what about what, what could happen? Okay, so what could happen in this case? So what we're going to do is... Um, Everything to walk you through this is in the book, starting on the bottom of page 565. But for those of you who are visual learners, let's just do a quick uh, look at this. Go to data, and then under data analysis, and if you don't have data analysis, that means you add, need to add the analysis tool pack option. And go look at the bottom of 565. It'll show you how to do that. Come to random number generator. Random number generator for Excel really is saying that you want to produce some information. All right, you want to produce some random numbers. Uh, in this case, there's only one variable that we're working with, right? It's just the demand each month. I want to produce 100 random numbers. You're going to have to type these things in. It probably will not pop up for you. We are thinking that this is a normal distribution. Okay, it's a normal distribution, and when you click on normal distribution, it's going to say, I need, Excel wants a couple of parameters. It wants to know um, the average, and it wants to know the standard deviation. It also wants a seed to get started. There's an algorithm in here for generating random numbers, but it wants a seed. Uh, and so you put in whatever seed you want. Um, I put six here. I'm doing... Uh, I'm producing 100 random numbers. My output range, I want it here on this page. So I've gone A1 through A100. And I've input this information. I'm going to click OK. And lo and behold, Excel produces uh, numbers for me. OK. It produces how many numbers? Well, it produces 100 numbers just like I told it to produce in there. Okay, now what, is this, what do these numbers mean to me? Uh, first of all, if this was, in, if this was monthly demands, this, these numbers really, and let me, since they're, they're generated here, let me go back up here to the top. Let's round these numbers so that they make sense that they're integers. So I'm gonna round this number I don't need any decimal points, so I'm just going to tell it to give me zero decimal points. Hit enter. Copy that down through there. And then finally, just to make this locked down, I'm going to copy it. With control C. And then I'm just going to paste it back in as values. And at that point, I have 100 random numbers. What do these random numbers even mean? It says we don't know what the future is going to look like. However, in the past, we have an average of 100 per month, a standard deviation of 10. One simulation using this information produces these possible outcomes. It doesn't say it's the number. It doesn't say that it's correct. It just says that on a random number generator with this information that any one of these 100 numbers could come up next month. How does that matter to us? Let's take the average. Okay. I'm going to put average here. Because if I'm telling the boss, you know, I've already gone through this stuff. I've, I've told you where we've been. I told you where I think we're going with my predictive, and now I need to use my prescriptive to be able to tell you what should we do. Our random number generator has generated numbers that turn out to be an average of 
Well, guess what? That shouldn't be too much of a, a surprise since we wanted it to give us an average of about 100, so we're happy there. Look at this. Look what happens whenever I do minimum, right? If I want the minimum, it may be a value to the boss to know that the odds are that next month the number of demands will not likely be below 71. All right, maybe that's a value. What about maximum? So it's likely that the maximum won't be above 124 based on simulation of 100 events, based on 100 events using our normal distribution. So once again, what, I'm, what it's trying to tell us is on the prescriptive side, I've done a Monte Carlo simulation, I have predicted with 100 iterations that the average next month will be 99.5 or 100. The minimum is going to be around 71, maximum approximately 124. Again, it kind of just gives the boss some boundaries. It says we may not be right with 100. Odds are we won't be below this. Odds are we won't be above that. Let's do this one more time, okay? If I go back in and if I've done 100 in this random sample, I could do this again, right? I could come in and I could say, let's do uh, back to my data, data analysis. We're going to do random number generator. Again, same thing. I want another 100. Use normal distribution, same information as before. What's going to happen if I leave this seed as 6? And here I'm going to change this now to, I'm going to generate this in column C. If I don't change the seed, I'm going to get exactly the same numbers I got before, right? So that doesn't make any sense to us. That's, that is not helpful. Instead, and, and once they're generated, they're set. When we go back in there this time, let's do data analysis, random number generator. Let's change the seed just a little even. You can change it to a, a big number if you want. Let's go ahead and tell it to overwrite C again. Yeah, no, let's move it to D just so we can see the difference even more. Oh, it doesn't like the point one. So let's change it to 61 as the seed. And look, the numbers are different. There's a different flow to it. This is uh, 4.7 uh, points higher than this. This is 1.3. Uh, so you can see that these numbers really are random. All right, I'm going to go in. I'm going to do a round on this equals round of this value. Round it with zero decimals. Copy it. Paste it back in as just values. And let's go down here now and say, okay, what's the average for this? What's the minimum? What's the maximum? All right. Now we're beginning to see once again, if I did this several more times, look how much more certain we could look at the boss and say, the first time I did this, we never got below 70. Second time I did it, we never went below 70. First time I did it, I never went above 124. Second time, I never went above 126. You see what if you did these, this simulation over, you know, 10, 12, 
20 times that you would be able to start having with much more confidence to be able to tell the boss, you know, even whenever I let the world be random as much as possible using our average and standard deviation, we still never fly off the page, right? We never go below 70. We never go above 126. Anyway, this is the way you would do a simulation. This is the way you would use a simulation. Hopefully this helps you. Um, good luck and let me know if you have questions.